Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're here to talk about Elon Musk just did a power move. A uh, power move that's so great that the left is outside, is out pretty much raging about it. And what I mean by that is, is that we have Elon Musk says cis and cisgender are considered slurs on Twitter. Twitter CEO Musk, Elon Musk declared that the word cis is a derogatory term for a person who is not trans and is now considered a slur on Twitter. Repeated targeted harassment against any account will cause the harassing accounts to receive a minimum of temporary suspension, Musk said. The word cis or cisgender are considered slurs on this platform. Musk was replying to a tweet from commentator James Esses, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, who said that he was harassed and, call, and called named after saying he didn't want to be called cis. Yesterday, S says wrote after posting a tweet saying that I reject the word cis and I don't wish to be called it. I receive a slew of messages from trans activists calling me sissy and telling me that I am cis whether or not I like it. Just imagine if the roles were reversed. And he goes on to say, I formally and publicly declare that I reject the label of cis. I don't believe in gender ideology. I don't self-identify as cis. Using this term makes me feel unsafe and is disrupt demonstrative of your hatred towards me. Anyone who uses the term cis to describe me is a bigot. The term signifies the creation of a new binary trans and cis and makes a judgment about non-trans people. Many people who hold the views of critical gender ideology, aka those who know that biological sex is a constant in reality, often reject the term as per, 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 pejorative, whatever the hell that means. Jesus. Uh, the person who could coin the term in 1994 told Huffington Post that the only issue with the word is the people who make the issue, it, take issue with the word. The word is a threat because it, it, it linguistic uh, English people linguistically separates biological sex from socially contracted categories of women and man. That gender is a social construction and under, undermines heteronormativity critical to defending patriarchal sex roles and procreation. It is not surprising that those who have guard dominance and privilege from traditional gender roles feel threatened and compelled to lash out Dan Tropos wrote. All this, by the way, of saying is not a slur. It's just a term for people who aren't trans, and if they don't like it, it's because they are uncomfortable undermining heteronormativity. Prior to Monk's, Monk's take over on Twitter, it was against the terms of service to misgender, meaning to use a gender term for someone that referred to their biological sex and not their self identified gender. Commentator Mugen Murphy and others actually lost their accounts over this, but there were no consequences for calling someone cis, even if that person didn't identify that way. While trans was allowed to be a chosen identity, cis was imposed. Now, no one will have to set the identifier of non-trans simply because they abide by reality. So yeah, we Elon Musk. But they, see, here's the one thing that the post-millennial doesn't do, right? They don't uh, post the actual tweet on what confirmed on what Elon Musk said that uh, Elon Musk already considered slurs on Twitter. Well, if we go here, Elon Musk triples down on making ter Twitter terrible for trans people. Of course, this person's a bloody idiot. It's just that trans people are just not being allowed to, you know, groom children anymore. So there's that. So we have this that uh, Elon Musk most. Uh, so we have the Twitter owners is saying for transgender people is no secret. It's a preacher at conservative satire account, the Babylon Bee, getting suspended for misgendering U.S. health official Rachel Levin is part of what animated him to throw down forty-four billion for the social networks to begin with. Since then, he's predictably dismantled what rules were once in a place on Twitter to protect the trans community. Musk's latest transphobic for foray comes in the middle of Pride Month, in which LGBTQ Americans are feeling particularly embattled in the light of trash, potentially deadly uh, anti-legislation, and emboldened in conservative discourse that promotes open discrimination against the queer community. In April, Twi in April Twitter er quietly erased a portion of its hateful content product that forbids users from deadnaming and misgendering transgender people. A move many, many people in the LGBTQ community to anticipate if given must suspect sus specific anim animus towards trans people. Musk's most recent declaration takes his transphobic, transphobic position to his illogical conclusion, declaring de reverse discrimination when transgender people use a commonplace neutral rule to discuss people who are not like them. Uh, the result predictably limits speech on the social on the social network. Yeah, see, now you guys are complaining about actual speech when it affects you, but when it affects other people, you just don't care. But only the speech of must perceived ideological enemies who are under a very real threat of a harm across state legislatures, healthcare settings, and public life in a way that their citizenship counterparts can't begin to relate to, because you're trying to allow people to um, be into the essentially be in the bathrooms, right? That's pretty much what you're relating to. And what we're talking about here is that we have this, that Elon Musk says repeated targeted harassment against any account will cause this harass harassing accounts to receive, at minimum, temporary suspicions. S suspensions, my bad. The word cis or cisgender are considered slurs on this platform. So, uh, 
Uh, then he, this guy said to Jenna Vick, Look, here's thank you. For those who don't know, here's some background on the origin of Sessinger as coined by German sexologist Volkmar Sigisch. I think that's how I pronounce his last name. Uh, the term Sessinger was coined by a German sexologist who, who also stated that sexuality that spontaneously unfolds between a child and adult is something wonderful. Volkmar is first uh, used terms Sessinger and sex, Sexual in a 91 publication titled, uh, uh, we see, uh, titled Transsexuals and or Non-Morphic View. Speaking of sex, sex, of sex sexuals, if there is a transsexual, logically there must be sex sexuals. One is not to be thought without the other at all. Now, I've allowed myself to, con con and to introduce the terms sexualism, sex sexuals, sex gender, etc., sex rope. According to Dogmar Harzog, author of Sex After Fascism, Memory and Morality in the 20th, 20th Century Germany, Volkmar Segesch and his uh, colleague Gunter to Gunter Schmidt, uh, with whom he published research on child sexuality in the 70s, also argue that exposing children to pornograph pornography, a well-known grooming tactics of pedophiles, was completely harmless. Volker Segers and Gunter Schmidt argued provocatively that the representation of sex preached per se did not damage to youth or children, and that the kind of pornography in which sex was represented without prejudice as a pleasure-filled society activity is exactly the kind that one could, could without worries, give to children and adolescents, Herzog wrote. In the late 60s and early 70s, German sexologists began to view sexual relations with children as progressive rather than abusive. So pervasive was the cultural trend towards the social liberation of pedophilia that Irving Germany's Green Party advocated for the abolition of, abolition of paragraph 106 of the German Criminal Code, which criminalized sexual activity with children below the age of 14. Dr. Jochen, uh, Dr. Kochen Arberlin, I, I apologize, Germans, if I am butchering these names. I am horrible with these, okay? Uh, of the University of Warwick, uh, in this article, Feeling Like a Child Dreams and Practice of Sexuality in the West German Alternative during the Long 1970 says, In 1970, members of the German parliament charged with reforming criminal law even listened, even listened to radical education scholar Hill McKentler, sexologist Volkmar Sigurds, and other sociologists and psychologists who declared that children would not suffer from sexual relations with adults and that those relations should not be punished because they are a crime without a victim. Cis coined by pedosexual physician. The psychologists who came up with the cis also claimed three there's nothing wrong with pedophilia. And then and yes, and then Elon and then Elon Musk replies with, Yep, the contemplative creep that manufactured the term cis has serious problems. Ignore him. So, yeah. Uh these people are proving more and more that uh, uh, that they're actual pedophiles. Yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty much a given. And the fact that you kind of want to say not to, well, everything that we go, if you keep on digging back to your terms or what you guys have been saying uh, over and over again, even with Dr. Money, it is going on to say that you guys are more leaning to be pedophiles than you guys are being anything else. So... You're gonna to have to really combat your your reasons for calling people cis because technically, if what they're saying is here and they bring up the articles and you're calling people cis, that means you're calling them a pedophile. And then when we call you guys something that you know grooming or whatever, you guys go ravaging and raving because you're projecting. You're projecting because that's exactly what you are, and you're also projecting when you call people cis because that's exactly what you are. So every single time you do these things or whatever, if you backlash or attack people because you call them because you're calling them groomers or if you're going back and attacking and calling people cis you're projecting yourself each and every single time so yeah i digress this is this is sandy good job Elon musk i think you're doing a good job for winning the culture war and uh good on to you all right guys that's the video like subscribe share as always take care